So this example will help us determine if a data set is from a population that is normally distributed. There are three tests we do for this. Um, one test is to look at the histogram. I happen to already draw a histogram in here. So this is a histogram that was created through technology. And looking at this histogram, it looks somewhat bell-shaped. So that's not bad. Um, then the other thing we look at is the number of outliers. So I happen to find Q1, which is 23, and Q3, which is 27.5. Um, to find out the number of outliers, you look at the interquartile range, which is Q3 minus Q1. That would be 27.5 minus 23, which is um, 4.5. And then we multiply that times 1.5. So the interquartile range times 1.5 is 6.75. An outlier is any number that is smaller than the Q1 minus that number we just came up with. So that would be 23 minus 6.75. So if I do that subtraction, I get that an outlier is any number that's smaller than 16.25. So looking up at the data, um, I'm looking for a number that is smaller than 16.25 and I notice that we do have one number that is smaller than it so we have um, one outlier so far. Another definition of outlier is Q3 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. So that would be 27.5 plus um, 6.75 and that is equal to Thirty-four point two five. So looking through the data, we're looking for a number that's bigger than thirty-four point two five. Um, going through. I find no numbers that are bigger than 34.25. So it looks like we have one outlier. In order for a distribution to be even in the running for being normally distributed, you can't have more than one. That's a little um, iffy though. Sometimes that rule isn't as strong as the other ones. But at the moment, we're doing okay with one outlier. The last thing to look at is the normal probability plot or the normal quantile plot. You want to see if it looks somewhat linear. Um, looking at this picture here, we do notice that if you look at this line here, most of the data seems to fall on this line. Most of um, this plotting of the normal quartile plot, which is actually a plotting of each of the data values and their probabilities, the cumulative probabilities on the normal curve. Um, so it looks like this actually is linear, so it does look like this is linear. So we have a somewhat bell-shaped histogram, we have only one outlier, and we have a linear normal probability plot. So that tells us that most likely we have a normal distribution. So the final conclusion would be that since um, the histogram is somewhat bell-shaped, There's one outlier, only one outlier. And the normal probability plot is linear. Then the data set is probably from a population that's normally distributed.
Um, I will say that normally when we do this, we do look at all three, but the normal quantile plot or normal probability plot is the strongest of all of them. So if that's linear, then the other two probably will fall in line just fine. If that's not linear, then the other ones probably won't anyway. But I usually do look at all three.